Push versus pull rods explained for Formula 1 fans. Suspension is what allows Formula 1 cars to bump over curbs on a Formula 1 circuit without breaking the car. Without any suspension, the chassis of the car would be directly attached to the wheels, so any force that would be applied to the wheels would actually go through the chassis as well, meaning a seriously uncomfortable ride for the driver. The teams add in a torsion spring to dampen those forces, which has to then be attached to the wheel. The rod that connects the top of the wheel to the torsion spring is called a pull rod or a push rod, depending on if the rod is fixed in a way where it's either pulling or pushing on that spring. For a pull rod configuration, the rod is mounted at a diagonal angle from a low point on the chassis up to a high point on the wheel assembly, but in a push rod configuration it's mounted the opposite way, so at a diagonal angle but higher on the chassis and lower on the wheel assembly. And there isn't really a better choice. In fact, lots of teams run both push and pull suspensions on their one car, one type at the front and the other at the back. 